Alright, <clears throat> it's November 10th, I couldn't go for a trip yesterday because fuck man, it was way too windy, I wouldn't be able to fucking get my cone to light, no matter how hard I fucking try, hurricane force at 30 miles an hour, it's just too much, alright, I can't see, alright, I hope the view looks good enough, yeah. Fucking hurt the car right now, so hopefully we we'll get back over there. And the fucker won't be there. I'm going to the fucking new spot there. I can hide from the motherfuckers. Jesus Christ, man, what the fuck is that? Let me check the tires. Fucking. I hope I don't want to talk to anybody. Just let me get to the fucking chill spot. Let's the fuck go. Alright. Let's see what we got. The wind is pretty cold. I can't lie.
feel like this is too slow. Pretty fucking cold today. How cold? I don't know. I'm gonna go with like 45 or 50, something like that. My fucking ears are starting to get cold. I'm almost there. Plastic from the car. And too big for me to take or put in my pocket. Fucking fingers are starting to close.
Maybe it's over there. That's where, that's where the spot is. Right over here. Right here. Right here. I think somebody just drove by. Personal animal in there. Isn't the sound of water again. I don't know what the fuck that is. Y'all hear that? Sounds like fucking water. I don't understand. There's no creek. Huh. Like I said, I'll check it out one of these days. Not in the broad daylight. Because these motherfuckers drive through here. Last thing I need is to be shot at. Fucking four o'clock in the morning. Which I'm good with, but I, if it's this cold during the daytime, I can just imagine how hard it would have been to do this shit at fucking four in the morning. Oh my god, the dream I fucking had was ungoddamn fucking believable. Holy shit. My grandpa was in it. I never dreamed about my grandpa, it's like the first time ever. Right when I want to get high, I start getting all fucking windy. Still smoking up on Nick's fucking dispensary weed. Ah. This is like super boof. Mixed with fucking some peach. Fucking cobbler, whatever the fuck they called it. Elections went well. I was all worried and shit. Nobody else cared. I guess if it had gone wrong or gone sideways, I would have looked less like an asshole. I don't know. I don't fucking care anymore. But I think that fucking gargoyle that fucking represents Colorado is fucking fucked out. I hope so.
That sucks. There's a big ass piece of plastic on the side of the road, but I can't take it because it's fucking too big. If I tried to take that with me, the wind would catch it and fucking rip it right out of my hand. Yeah, and the brakes on this shit are good, but they're not. I don't trust going downhill on that much of an incline with the brakes that are on the bike. So I'll probably walk like I did last time. Walk and hope. Yeah, physically, I'm not doing that great. These fucking pods are really starting to hurt, goddammit. The one that was on this side last time hurt so bad, and then I took it off, and it, the spot where it was still hurts. And it's been almost six days. Fuck. I was afraid of this. I knew it was going to happen. It's, it's not like it's impossible to see coming. You can only stab a tomato so many times before it starts to disintegrate. And, yeah, no, diabetes is completely manageable. If you're fat, look at me. I don't weigh shit. I weigh about as much as like a fucking nine-year-old girl. And supposedly I'm a 41-year-old man, so I don't know what to tell you. I'm not getting any bigger. And this disease ain't going away, so you do the fucking math. Like I said, you can stab a fucking small body before it fucking taps out. I think he's starting to tap out. I'm only 41, so this could possibly be my last decade. I got nine more fucking years to go. So. And then I'll get hit by a car on the way home today. So. <laughs> no, this shit's really fucking starting to fuck me up, man. And the permanent damage I did to my fucking dick, fucking, it's just, it's getting worse. I'm a little bit worried that, I don't know, I'll hit 47, 46, or some shit like that, and my shit's just gonna just block off altogether and I won't be able to fucking pee ever again. They're gonna have to what? Put another catheter? That's just gonna make it fucking worse. No, they'll probably have to do some kind of surgery. I'll probably have to have a fucking piss bag. Uh, I hate this fucking body. My mind is so much stronger than this piece of shit can fucking handle. Oh, I wanna keep going, but I don't like pain. Shit fucking hurts, man. So, I don't like having to struggle or wrestle with the fucking idea that I have to fucking end my own shit. Like, when it gets to be too much and I can't take it anymore, it's up to me. I have to end it. I don't get to have that, oh, I'll just wait until I'm 82 and in my sleep I'll have, I'll fucking die in my sleep. But no, it's not gonna happen. I have to kick myself out and I can't fucking. I don't want to do it at all. But I really don't like pain. So. Then there's Plan B, which is fucking a pill you get in case you get pregnant. No. <laughs> fucking because uh, my fucking headaches have been coming back. I've had a headache every day this week except for today. I don't really feel it, so. but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen later when I get home. Headache can usually only mean one thing for someone like me, or, or a persistent headache that doesn't really go away, and it seems to be located sort of in the front. Oh, I could be with tumor right fucking now, I don't know, which means plan B, which would be just let it fucking grow, let it grow slow, so. It won't kill me until I'm like 54 or 3. Fuck, man, just barely getting any kind of hits off this. This time. Usually when you can get it to ignite, it'll stay ignited. Can't get it to light this time. So, yeah. Fucking 
dick hole starting to seal up, fucking goddamn brain tumor might be back, and the disease is getting too hard to fucking deal with. Right. Fucking always hungry. Yeah, it's not great. Yep. Anyway, what can I do? Keep pushing. Every fucking day I just keep pushing into a fuck. And like I said, my mind is so much stronger than this piece of shit vessel. So, I don't know what kind of hell I'm be able to put myself through. <laughs> Come on, fucker, just light. That shit with the fucking water is weird. Like I'm really super curious. There might be a creek, at least in the middle. So, when I finally can go over there, probably, I don't know, fucking middle of the night, or in the spring, I guess? I don't know. I, don't know. I can hear water, though. I think. I can see, like, the foliage. Path, sort of, so it kind of looks like that might be where the water is. So I'll check it out really good. God damn, we're about to shave. All I do is climb up the hill.
that's cool. I hope there is a creek down there. If there is, and that completes it. Got everything. Dang, I fucking like that you were gonna die and go to heaven. If it was such a place. Which trust me, I was watching fucking like an interview with Bono and that motherfucker was like asking questions or answering questions and shit. And one of the questions was fucking what do you think happens when you die? <coughs> And that motherfucker said, it's like being born. Yeah, that makes sense. That kind of fits in line with the whole, what it was like before you were fucking born to what it's like to be dead. Like, do you remember what it was like before you were born? It's like, fuck no, it's just black. Like, you don't remember any of that. So yeah, that's probably, I think, what it's like to be dead. That's why you have to live life while you can, because you only get fucking one. But do everything you can to enjoy it as much as you can through the pain, at least for me, I have a lot of fucking bullshit pain that I gotta fucking deal with, so, it makes me a little bit bitter towards motherfuckers who don't have to worry about shit, ever, physically, and they just fucking get to float through life, motherfuckers are a piece of shit, motherfuckers, and they're like that, too, so, I don't know why I get to fucking live life, and some of us don't, either don't get to, or get to, but through like a ridiculous set of fucking rules and shit that just aren't fair to fucking fair. There's, there's nobody to blame. Are you gonna get mad at the fucking wind? Like, ain't shit you can do except to try to enjoy what you can. So that's what I'm doing. Faded as fuck. I'm gonna make sure the camera's working. That tends to happen. Although it hasn't happened since I started looking. Yeah, it's still on. Alright. It's like I want to take you with me down there. Fuck it, I'll just do it. If it dies right now, I'll make a second video. Alright. Let's go. Because it's warm in the sun. Well, not warm, but it's warmer. I don't know if I'll go as far down this time. Because, man, it's out of fucking shape when I came back up. I'll just stand in the sun over here. Right here. Although it looks brighter down there. But, and it is brighter down there. Ah, fuck my fingers. trail I don't think it is well it goes oh wait maybe that's the roads just around this corner I think yeah that's why it looks like there's real or tire tracks down there but yeah I think the fucking creek is over there sort of across the valley floor so I'm not gonna go over there but I hear water but maybe it's right there in the middle that might be water, but I can't see it from here. And I'm not going to walk down there. Wow. Yeah. It's a dope-ass fucking spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to put my face mask on, too, when I leave. It's fucking cold. fucking daylight you still need these things because it's fucking November what a fucking view yeah unless that fucker's doing work over here and I think I'm free to fucking do what I want right here. Ain't nobody can see me from the road. There ain't no reason for anybody on the road to come over here unless it's the homie's land. And if it's his land and he's doing shit over here, I'd see fucking, like, equipment and shit like that, so. Yeah, I think the water's down there. Beyond that tree. 
but I'm not going to fuck with it yet. All right. I just wanted to show you, my fuckers, what it looked like out here. Over on this side, this side of the hill. Damn, I'm fucking glad I got the balls to fucking explore over here. But you're not supposed to, because I guess it's not my land. But I don't know. I don't know. I can't see, and I'm fucking... I usually just say I'm half blind and semi-retarded, so... Not that you can't blame somebody for that, because, you know, my mom does. But, I don't know. All right. Let's put you back. I hear another car, too. Leaving is going to be dicey. Make it quick, fucker. Or take it forever because there's gonna be a car coming if you don't. Hurry up. You need a cop. Fuck, my fingers are cold. November, you may as well just bring your gloves and a couple of hoodies, or four hoodies. I probably could have even worn my fucking winter jacket. I've been alright. This is how you learn, I guess. One pair of socks, one pair of pants. Yeah. But I'm also in the shade. It makes a huge difference. Ten minutes trying to get your shit to light. Alright. I get to put the gloves. Yeah, I'm supposed to have heated gloves on Monday, so fucking see. If A I get them and B they work. time today because she's doing the shopping and they're making her work overtime which is cool right now but fucking smash cut to seven fucking fifty whatever and she's still awake like god damn it first pair I bought were like better quality I guess but somebody fucking got them wasn't me it was somebody and then it's like how much is your time worth how much 
money uh, value you put on how much time you're going to have to spend tracking down the fucking postal fucking guy or anything. Fuck that. It ain't worth it. So, I just got another pair that I hope will be the equivalent. I know in the last video I said not to touch anything, but uh, something about branches that look like they're ready to snap off makes you want to snap them off. Fucking, uh, yeah, the second pair I bought, I hope they're at least doable. But, I don't know. I guess I'll find out. I didn't even fucking look at the news. I didn't do any. I didn't even play the guitar. I've been able to play it pretty good lately, so I was able to make music that sounded good to me. And, uh, I'll probably do it again today because I'll have until the news comes on. I couldn't do it yesterday or the day before that thing. I think it's been two days. All I wanted to do was see the sun through these trees. And now I get to. Through hunger and pain. And fucking blindness. I can't really see that well. I can see the sun through the trees. I can see the forest through the trees. <laughs> but my fucking face is getting fucking really cold, so I think I might have to make my exit now. My fingers are really cold. Yeah. My fingers and toes end up being fucking weak in this. Those are up here right now. Alright. Let's hope. That motherfucking, I get down this hill without being seen. This fucking piece of shit bike. No, it's not a piece of shit. It's a fucking thing through hell. And it still goes through the You. I don't know who you is. 
At least I look on, like I'm on the moon just in time. I have another motherfucker. I ain't got some motherfucker that owns this land. It's exactly what I didn't want to happen. But it did, anyway. Because Murphy's a dick. Did I just see? Yes, you fucking did. All right, let me put my glove back. I just rode off and let my glove on. Fucking okay. just be sitting on the side of the road so these fuckers could be like, hey, what's going on? What's going on is leave me alone. I can never get caught coming down out of the hill though. But no. God damn. Yeah, my fingers are cold. At least I didn't have to rob the mask on. I mean, it would have been for a reason. The optics of that. <laughs> fucking fingers, man. That shit's cold. I can't wait to get those fucking gloves, man. I hope they fucking work. <coughs> it's supposed to be cold. Really cold on Monday. I have a feeling that they'll do a good job for what, with how cold it is right now, but they won't work very good when it's like 32 or less. Yeah, I think that's the motherfucker that owns the land. I'm surprised that fucker don't ever want to ask no questions. Damn, boy, where do you think I'd fucking stay at it? Good, maybe it just means he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> That means I can hang out in the street, which I don't understand. I've heard a lot of people there trying to see me. I've heard a lot of people trying to see me. Now they just want to get out of the street right there. I can't hear any water. I'm going to have to figure that shit out one of these days. I gotta get to the bottom of this fucking water. Where the hell is that shit coming from? I hear it. Or I could hear it over there, but I can't hear it over here. Actions don't necessarily grow next to this creek or anything. These fucking rocks, man. I almost fucking threw me off the park. Fucking fingers. I won't have to fucking call ass past that spot if I just go up the hill. And then I could probably post up up there and just hang out a little bit more. Maybe you'll see some deer heads like they did last time. That was cool. Fucking fingertips are really fucking cold. Yeah, it continues to be my weak link. Fucking fingertips. I close eventually, but right now they're fine. My fingertips are weak. It fucking hurts. I heard a bird. don't grow out of the cow shit here like they do in the fucking Oregon. Although I don't think those are psychedelic mushrooms either. So. <laughs> well, when you're a kid or a teenager, you don't fucking know the difference. 
you just think that you have a special place to get mushrooms. And we did, but I don't think that they were used for the job. daytime and it's just too fucking cold for my hands I had a feeling this was the case this morning so I'm glad I didn't try to do it this morning it was about like this this morning breezy wise so I can't fucking believe this man it's fucking cold yeah I can't believe it. of course I can believe it it's fucking Colorado but I can't believe I got jacked for my gloves. That fucking pisses me off because I'd have them right now. But somebody got them. You dumbass fucking mailman. You fucking dickhead. I get it though. Humans make mistakes. That's why I hate the fucking switch. Fucking postal jobs to fucking computers or robots. Just make robots do that shit. self-driving cars and then you can just have a fucking robot deliver the mail mistakes programmed not to so the mail would get delivered to the right address and on time Factor like accidents with the vehicles and shit like that. Sort of like when a UPS truck fucking gets into a collision on the fucking highway. So there's a lot of packages, and somebody, well, all the people that were in, waiting for their shit are gonna have to wait a little longer, or they might not get it at all, depending on whether the shit caught fire or not. But that's human error, so. 
this is something else robots could do. Yeah, I don't know, the future. But I think we're so far away from all that. We can't even stop being fucking racist towards each other. It's ridiculous. Or even sexist. It's like, what the fuck? You know you came out of one of those, right? But you sit there and talk all this shit and fucking pay them less and fucking do that. Jesus fuck. Yeah. Humans. <laughs> <laughs> At least the brake works this time. <laughs> I think it might just be the difference between hydraulic and mechanical. If you have the hydraulic, it probably doesn't have a fucking squishy feeling. Works all instant and good. <laughs> what a fuck the hydraulic brakes. I like the mechanical. I don't like the mechanical because they fucking feel like they're not working or they can fail easier. I don't. I don't. Know. At least it's working. It's all that really matters. And it's weird, like, it feels like if you pump them, they get, they work better, and it's like, that's like a hydraulic thing. Working the bubbles out of the system. But, I don't know. You better figure it out, asshole. <laughs> yeah, the fucking snow is doable on this bike. Except for when you get to the cattle guard, you gotta walk across that motherfucker. Too. I tried to ride across it. I figured if I just make myself real light and just glide across, like I don't even weigh anything, it'll just fucking do it. But, and I almost did. I ended up with a fucking patch of ice or whatever. I almost fucking went down. Trust me out that cars were able to drive over that shit without fucking. In and out, I guess. I don't know. That shit was fucking like a sheet of ice. I hear a car. Might be over there where I would have been if I had gone that way. This rut is fucking weird, man. I don't know why that's there. It's like cut into the dirt. Brandy in this fucking area. I don't know what the fuck hell's going on over here. At least I got to go out and bring a yeah. fucking cold as fuck adventure, but still. At least I got to go. I didn't get to pick up that trash, which I would do if I had a car, but I don't have a car, and if I did, yeah, I can still drive it. I'd have to drive fucking slow as fuck. So that I could go out and get that piece of fucking trash. gonna fucking hurt. Not that I don't know that when I'm drunk, but I just don't care when I'm drunk. That's why they call it fucking liquid courage. I don't have a whole lot of that naturally.
Justin would be the fuck. The wind was fucking brutal yesterday. Like straight up hurricane shit. Alright, I'm just gonna say that up now instead of when I'm trying to take the shit out of the fucking thing. It cuts off when I do that, so thank you for watching. Yeah, late. Late, late, late on, motherfuckers.